So I go around and people say, oh yeah, that's right, you're the robot teacher. You program robots, you teach kids. There's a difference. I haven't, I haven't taught a robot a day in my life, but I teach kids. Robots are the technique or the method that I use to reach them. We have a lot of fun at these competitions. We invite some guest speakers to come in. We have students that are interacting with business professionals, and we're getting it done with a fairly low tech robot. You don't have to spend millions of dollars to make this happen. Some of these guests that, that come in, some of these extra presenters that we have, they bring some pretty cool tech with them. Like the 53rd EOD, or the Explosive Ordnance Division of the U.S. Military. Yeah, that's bomb squad. It's pretty awesome. They went out and neutralized a suspected device on the football field. And they blew stuff up! It was awesome! It was awesome! And then I watched in horror as they took the controls to a million dollar robot and passed it off to a teenager. Sergeant, what are you doing? Calm down, sir. We're the military and we do this every day. Million dollar piece of equipment, teenagers, got it. <laughs> but you know, as I go around and I talk about the robot challenge, people get, get really into the pictures. They want to know more about the robots. They want to know more about the technology. They want to know more about the management of it. They want to see these things. You know, it's cool stuff. I totally agree with you. Robots are cool. They're a lot of fun. But you know, if you're looking at the robots, you're missing out on something. If you're looking at the robot in this picture, you are looking at the wrong things in the picture. Those are kids that are excited about science, and that's the goal. The goal is not technology. Technology is the method or the technique that we use to reach kids and get faces like that. That's what it's about. So the goal is not technology. The goal is kids on a Saturday showing up for a robot competition. That's awesome. And it all got started by asking simple questions like, what if? What if we got outside of the box, or maybe we got deeper into the box? I don't know where this box thing is. Has anybody actually seen it? Maybe, maybe I'm just confused, I don't know. What if we changed our dynamics a little bit? What if we started focusing on something different? What if we started looking in a different direction? What if, as educators, we started realizing the power that all of us have together? 